Hello and welcome to episode 15 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here, cycle 22, day 13. Last time we built this behemoth of a uh, bad water processing complex. It's not entirely done though. We have some large tanks left to finish still and a little bit of cleanup work, a little bit more stuff to take care of right here. But before we go any further, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Uh, Five minutes before I hit record on this video, uh, the uh, channel analytics page let me know that we'd crossed 10K. So again, thanks so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope we can continue to have fun playing Timberborn and other games as well in the uh, near future following this milestone. But yeah, I really, really appreciate the support. It's fantastic, fantastic stuff. So again, huge, huge thanks to all of you for everything. Let's go ahead and move on and talk about what we're gonna do in today's episode. And you can see right here, we have these triple platforms uh, let the water all the way out completely down to the bottom level right here. And uh, we don't really want that to be a thing. And this area over here is kind of uh, kind of the same way, but there is this lip here, so it's not all gonna go out. We wanna defend against that, and a couple of you had some good ideas. Uh, so let's go ahead and pause this, because I, we do have less than two days before this bad tide comes in. Uh, but I think our solution here is going to be to go into our metal floodgates and put some of these uh, two or three high floodgates, depending on how it wants to uh, count height level, and put those guys in here because these... Uh, let's just go ahead and unlock the, uh, the two high. Yeah, this is the one we want because we can put a platform right on top of this. And no problems whatsoever. So that is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these... Uh, replaced right here and yes that will disconnect everything but it'll be fine we'll pop this right there and then right on the top just put a little old thing right there that'll be a-okay and we'll just have these I guess always set to 1.5 or we might have them go up or down a little bit but that's the gist uh, we're gonna solve our problem that way and then eventually as we go around and do the same thing on all four sides, uh, we'll take care of that at that point in time. But uh, th that will at least stem the bleeding just a tiny bit and make it so that we can retain a little bit more water here. So they'll take care of that. Uh, but before we get into our bad tide, we really want to make sure that the areas we're growing stuff in are protected. And it looks like this is just fine. Uh, this one we haven't quite gotten to yet and I don't think is really going to be that uh, that much of a priority. We haven't started planting anything. But if we can get these uh, terrain blocks right here put in, I think that might go a uh, pretty decently long way toward getting us what we, uh, what we want here. So if we can at least keep this area relatively, relatively safe, we'll put these damn pieces here and start the process of uh, cordoning this off. Obviously, this is something that takes quite a while to build. I don't know that we're going to be able to get it done, but uh, I do like the idea of that being a thing. So let's get that put in place. I don't think these guys can reach unless I put a... Yeah, unless I put a path right there. So we do have dirt. We have 270. If I make this the top priority, which I have done, they should be able to come in here and do that. Let's see what this what this guy's doing. Where are you going, bud? Are you a uh, oh bearded Greek here working at the lumberjack flag, lumberjacking away? So uh, please do carry on and make that happen. Uh, everything here, this uh, area we added last time or the time before, I don't actually remember because there's been so much going on. But uh, this seems to be working fantastically well. Uh, these trees should spread. Eventually, once I unplant these on the very end, which uh, we'll go ahead and do, looks like this is uh, working fantastically as well. Another thing I forgot that I can check now is you can replant dead trees not marked for cutting. So they're going to take care of that just fine. We can unmark uh, these for demolition as well. Z05 here, as soon as they're done planting that tree, should in theory, be able to come over here and do that. They might get that one first, depending on what's going on. But we do know that that now is an option 
Uh, thanks to those of you who reminded me of that in the comments. Very helpful. And now we just have to remember exactly where we were on the other side of the... Did I just go the, all the way around the entire map? Yep, that's exactly what I did. Uh, but it looks like this isn't going to be mission critical for us to get accomplished because it's going to be a bad tide. We're going to be making power nonetheless. Anyway, we just want to make sure the beavers don't actually go down into the bad water, uh, which was why I was so uh, hoping that this was going to be something that could be done. I don't know that that's going to be the case because uh, the builders don't really seem to be uh, working on much of anything that I've prioritized. Not really sure what's going on with that because there's plenty of uh, plenty of other stuff. Okay, so they... Uh, wait, can they not reach this one? No, they can reach this. I don't know what the... Uh... Okay, there we go. They're just a little slow because they got some time. It's just going to be a little bit of a nail biter to try and get this accomplished. We'll see what happens. Um, if if this fails to uh, get completed, then I am going to have to take these stairs out so the poor beavers don't uh, get infected with the bad water disease. But uh, that's going to be not our biggest priority for this episode. It is it is going to be nice to have all this done when it's done, but uh, it's not going to be the uh, most important thing ever. That being said, we do have a couple more options for things that we want to do down here. A couple people asked if we were planning on putting in the structures that can harness the bad water here. Uh, we do have a couple options. We have the uh, discharge, and then we can also just, uh, you know, not, uh, not mess with it. But if we put the discharge on, then these things can operate during droughts, or we can just leave them alone and just not worry about it because we're going to be able to just get a obscene amount of bad water. Uh, I had originally thought that maybe there was something else we could build as the Iron Teeth, but that's the folktales that have the rig uh, that you can build on top of this. I don't see that option here. We have the deep mechanical fluid pump. We have fluid dumps. We have deep bad water pumps, deep water pumps. There is no dedicated building that you can staff with the beavers for the Iron Teeth, unless I have just somehow missed a titanic amount of uh, information on this game that I... I guess technically play for a job <laughs> then um, there's nothing else we could do but I would like to put the domes on here set them to open so this can just be constantly flowing uh, as of right now though we have a thousand bad water pumped out and it's about to be a bad tide so I really don't think that's going to be an issue uh, we will get to that at some point in time but we're generating a lot of power uh, each side of this is generating at about 9500 right now uh, if we built three more of these on either side, it could end up being a little bit more because of the way the water gets routed. But uh, we will get to that when we get to it, I suppose. We need to be able to start moving the manufacturing stuff down here and storing power and then possibly sharing it with up top through the use of some of our power shafts and all sorts of other fun stuff. And we also have these flywheels. Fantastic mod from the esteemed Battery Smooth himself. Uh, getting flywheels to store power. Uh, we've done this before in a couple different playthroughs. And the update 4.1 on Thousand Islands map, I had them underneath the uh, the buildings here. Which we could easily do by putting in some of these uh, vertical... Or I, I want to call them vertical because they transfer power vertically, but the correct name is horizontal framed flywheel. Uh, we could put some of these directly underneath, or we can take our uh, large vertical or horizontal framed flywheels which have fantastic looking models and just have those on display or just put them somewhere else and uh, hide them. Uh, I know we are going to want to be able to use those. So I think what we're going to want to do, if we take a look at how this is set up, um, the amount of height that we have in the map is not exactly, uh, not exactly a lot. I think we can go down one maybe two more from here. So that would fit a uh, framed flywheel of the large variety, but I don't know. We might just want to put a couple of mediums underneath these guys because the, uh, the thing I was trying to figure out here is, okay, we've got centrifuges to make extract. And then of course the iron teeth also have in the way of extract. Uh, where is the, uh, where is the, I can't, I've been playing so much water beavers. I can't remember what's where. Uh, maybe it's under science? Uh, yeah, the grease factory. That's something that has to exist to make grease out of the extract and uh, 
all sorts of other fun stuff. So that would be a logical thing to build here. I have a tank for Greece, etc., so on and so forth. So we'll see what happens with that. I, I do want to make sure we can make a lot of extract because that does power a whole lot of the industrial stuff. And of course, we have to make bots as well. So let's come over here, take a look. Oh, good. That's in place. And it looks like we might actually get this done. If we can get the rest of the, uh, the beavers come down here in the next uh, half of a workday to get these in place. We don't have, looks like they're coming in from on top. That's fine. We don't have a water outlet here, uh, which is going to preclude us from actually planting anything. But if this is safe from the, uh, the bad water, then we're going to be in really good shape. We can start planting actual trees here. Well, maybe not all the way to this side because this is going to have bad water coming out of it. But we're going to be looking really, really good. And of course, we'll have to continue uh, around the whole side of the map doing that. But that will be number four of these uh, oak areas here. Should be looking quite nice. And eventually we can reclaim this quadrant and start farming more stuff. Uh, if we want to have more beavers, which we definitely do, we want to have larger farming so we can actually take advantage of everything. And of course, we have all of this stuff to mess with too, and you guys gave some good ideas on the placement of the fermenters, but I don't know that we need to min-max that at this exact moment just because uh, this is not permanent up here. This is just a temporary deal to try and uh, keep up our industrial stuff while this whole area down here is uh, under development. All that's going to be moved down here, and up here can be for farming food and processing food and I think we will have a very successful time with all of that. So, all that being said, bad water, bad tide is just about upon us. I'm glad to say that this is looking good. And in fact, I now have the ability to fill this up. And I can put at least one of these in as a uh, little bit of a... Uh, little discharge over the side, but this will retain water and we can actually have some uh, mangroves growing in here by the end of the episode. That's going to be fantastic. And then of course we will continue uh, doing the same thing in the corner that we've done over here. Uh, speaking of, yeah, this isn't quite as low down as it goes. Uh, we don't have any more storage for dirt. We probably should fix that. Um, where else are we going to want to have dirt? I don't, intend on doing too much more terraforming, adding dirt down here, but we will want to do uh, each of the other four like this. We just have to decide which ones are going to be first. And in order for us to get our bridges across, we are going to need to have access to the bottom here. And that's not something we want to do during a bad tide. So that will have to wait until after this bad tide and we will get all of that taken care of. So triple speed, get all the way through here uh, because this is taken care of. That is all fine. Uh, these guys will finish this at a uh, later point in time. But this is all looking good. Our irrigation barriers are in the process of being completed on this side as well. And that's going to be fantastic. Just got to keep on keeping on. Slowly but surely we will get this whole thing taken care of. And it's going to be quite nice when it is finished. So we can stop worrying about that. Come back down here. They still have not built the uh, metal floodgates here, that's because all of these things are in first, and since this is a bad tide, it really does not matter. We just have to make sure that we're being smart about how our stuff gets uh, picked up from the ground or not picked up from the ground. But these guys, loud sounds, these guys cannot get uh, into the bad water. As far as I know, they can't get into the bad water. And now, crucially, most of this uh, upstairs level, if you will, is pretty much perfectly safe for our crops. This area is looking quite nice because we have this all the way down to the corner. Not a dead one in sight. We just have to finish uh, a little bit of this. Actually, we forgot about this guy right here. That will make a very quick uh, work of clearing up those, but it's not killing any trees. Uh, same kind of story over here just because of how this stuff is all set up. Uh, just have to continue uh, getting this back and forth here. So what we're going to want to do, since they have access to the rest of that, you know the drill. Just same old, same old. Pop that across. 
And then uh, these corner bits here will also get, uh, if I can click in the corner, I almost had it. I had it right there. Come on. There we go. Those get the ladders as well. I believe, I believe that's how I had that set up that way. Let's, not like it really matters, but let's just check this. Yep. Cool. So that's, of course, going to allow us to put underneath here another set of these irrigation barriers. And that will 100% uh, block all of this nasty from coming in here. And then uh, all we've got to do is just this last bit here. Already pretty much set, good to go. Just have to extend this and then uh, move all of these builder's huts to somewhere else and this uh, hauling post as well. But we are looking really, really, really good. This is now completely safe farmland. And I'm going to actually build the rest of this out as kohlrabis. I know I had said I was going to maybe expand uh, these hydroponic gardens. Actually, hold on. I will leave that space open in case I want to have one more. Yeah, I know we're not really using a ton of that right now, but we are going to want to have access to it. So well, that's why that's staying the way it is. And we'll just move on with our lives here. This one will be algae, and then we'll just keep stacking them as they continue going. That, of course, is algae. We're not really refining the algae right now because I have not set that up. But uh, where is... There we go. We'll do the same thing here. Yep. Totally logical things I should have been doing forever and ever and ever ago, but did not. What is in storage under here? Did I... Uh, okay, good. Mushroom storage. We just haven't actually been storing any of those. So that's fine. Here comes that right there. And then I believe uh, we're going to need to have access outside of just this one uh, ladder right here. But that could be a problem for later. So there you have it. There's mushrooms there. That'll help. And then we can just plant up to the corner here. Um, our cassava numbers, raw cassava numbers, are a little bit lacking. Uh, these small tanks of canola oil do not need to be here. Those can go away, and what we will do instead is fill this with cassava right there. Uh, these medium warehouses can go away. They can move over here. This is all storage for cassava, mushroom, soybean, etc. And most of this is finished food that we can find somewhere else to place. Not entirely sure what that's going to entail, but looking like that's going to be just fine. The trees are fine over here as well. And our power production is the same as always, so no, no issues there. We just got to get these guys to make these floodgates. I think that's going to be uh, kind of a long-term, long-term deal. Okay, that's right. This is, in fact, more or less safe. We're just waiting on the rest of this to, uh, to get put in place. They got a lot of building to do, and I guess they are just uh, tied up with everything else. So we have 1,200 canola oil. We have three canola seeds left. We probably should be planting some more of those. Uh, these guys probably... Wait, why are these all set to... Okay, this, this should be set to planting. That should be set to planting. It's the closest to all of this. I think I might have made that mistake. There we go. Planting, planting, harvesting, harvesting, planting. That's fine. Oh, and this guy too, set to planting. Well, we'll be all right. We have plenty of stuff. We are going to need to expand this as we continue going. But that is something we will get to in due time. Just got to make sure we're taking care of everything else. Corn-wise, everything is looking good. we got plenty of corn stored up. Uh, eggplants, we've managed to actually go through almost all of them. And these are... I actually don't remember what's planted where... That's corn. That's corn. That's actually dead because that has nothing there. Where's my eggplants? Oh, they're over here. Duh. Duh. All right. So I guess we need to plant more eggplants. That was why. That was why I was doing this earlier. So these kohlrabi's can go away. Specifically, just these two, and I will replace those with the uh, eggplants. We do have. Click on them. Thank you. Berries. We have twenty-four hundred in storage. Uh, those numbers. 
should still hold us as we continue expanding our uh, our population. We've got more breeding pods that we need to be putting down. I was assuming they were going to have this built first, but I guess our builders are busy uh, doing some other stuff, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Again, please, Mechanistry, I know none of you are watching these videos, but if you are, please give me an option to see what they're currently working on without having to click on each individual beaver. I, I would love a building queue, even if it's just something I have to click to get into. Because right now, if I want to find out what the builders are doing, i got to click on each one individually. And, well, it's the middle of the night, so I guess I just get to watch this guy go to bed. So that's kind of fun, I guess. But I would like to know what they are doing and what is next in the priority list without having to mentally keep track of uh, what I placed first, etc., so on and so forth. That would be quite, quite useful. So, that being said, uh, other things we want to get to, obviously we need more beavers. That is something that just has to come in time with us uh, getting breeding pods finished. And there's just so many moving parts to that that it's very difficult to uh, just rush one thing or the other. Obviously, this getting uh, put back in place is very important as well. I imagine that's probably what they're focusing on now, judging by the amount of stuff that has and has not been built over here, which I suppose is fine, but it would be nice to have everything else taken care of as well. So, of course, we're going to mirror this setup over here once they have this final triple dynamite put in place. Uh, I can only assume that's what they're bringing right now, these guys. Oh, no, they're filling up the mangrove fruit storage, which I guess is all right. Everybody needs those. But here comes the explosives. Now we just need the extractor. That has to be trucked all the way in from down here. Uh, eventually, I would like this to be its own district uh, once we have bots running and everything. But that might be a little bit further in the distance than where we currently are. So I imagine... Yeah, this is probably still way far back. But again, it's fine. We don't have anything of consequence over here except log storage. And we're not really building anything else here. We're just... Pumping away, and that is all looking just fine. All right. Somebody come finish this so I can uh, actually blow this up. I guess they're not going to until... Oh, never mind. I guess they are. All right. Time to blow it up. Beautiful. So that's going to be triple flood... Or triple floodgates. Platforms, mind you. On the inside. One here. Come on, let me click in the right spot. One there. Stream gauge underneath, and then fluid dump here. We'll have this set up the exact same way as every other side that we've done before. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and then under well-being we have our tooth grindstone. Same story we've been telling this whole time. It's just a simple, uh, as far as I can tell, good design, and that is the way it goes. If we have so much wood, I'm not going to worry about having uh, these pine trees just grow up. I'm going to get rid of them, and we'll start planting the oak trees as soon as we can. Obviously, this side still needs some love and attention, and we have to be able to keep the bad water out, so that's going to come uh, as it will. we got to continue building out uh, these corner pieces here. And that's all stuff that takes a very long time. Not exactly something we can get done in the blink of an eye, but uh, we will do our best. So I can build that here, that here, that here. Take the middle one out and replace those with the dams. That will get us most of the way to where we want to go. And as we have these corners done, we can move these pumps out and allow us to reclaim these edges for everything that we want to do. So that is what I will do here, and then we'll just have to make sure everything else is set up the way that we want it to be. You know the drill. We've done this a billion times. Well, maybe not literally a billion, but uh, certainly enough times. It is starting to lag just a touch on uh, triple speed, but still getting almost 60 FPS, so that's, uh, that's exciting. Very, very fun to see those nice, uh, nice performance improvements. So now I'm just curious, how long is it going to be until we have these metal floodgates put in? Because I know the rest of this... Okay, well, they haven't done this yet. But I did place the metal floodgates before that. 
So I guess we will find out what happens when it happens. All right, um, eggplants, 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 eggplants. Let's get these in. Just little bits and pieces. We'll have to come back and plant the rest of those. But that's all looking nice. They see they haven't even built the breeding pod yet. So that's what kind of uh, slightly worries me about how this is set up is that it just is going to be a long time before we can get into much of anything else. But that's the way it happens when we have these episodes. We've got a whole lot of stuff to do and uh, so on and so forth. But it's not so much that I just want to time lapse everything because one, I think that takes away some of the fun of how this uh, format of video tends to go and uh, makes a little bit too much progress at once without actually having the opportunity to learn some fun stuff along the way or to make stupid mistakes and uh, figure out how to solve those problems. But yeah, see, so they haven't even built this yet. Let's um, let's just have them focus on getting these complete right here. Just so we have something to watch, I suppose, while we're talking about everything else. Population-wise, we definitely could use another couple dozen beavers right now, but I don't want to force it to grow too quickly because that can also cause uh, some other problems. Food-wise, though, we're looking really good. Just got to continue expanding our production of the fermented stuff. Uh, mushrooms especially seem to be gone almost immediately because uh, they take so long to grow and we have such a low yield. But this is done, finally, <laughs> this one bit right here. And you can most importantly see... Oh, there's a tiny bit in the corner here. Wait, no, it's gone. Okay, cool. I was about to say that shouldn't be there. I thought we'd solve that problem, but uh, I digress. So this is all completely done. Now the only part of this upper uh, upper tier we have that has any pollution in it at all is this bit right here. So you know what we can do. Just do the same exact thing that we'd been doing for all of this. Uh, we'll just place in our ladders. We'll just do all four of these at once because they have the alternate routes. No issues whatsoever there. Just want to make sure that is nice and prepared, ready to go. And then of course, right here, you already know the drill. Put in these irrigation barriers. That will take care of that. And then, oh, I'm so turned around. Where's, okay, here we go. <laughs> we'll get these in place. Uh, we'll move the builder's huts and find another location for those. We also have this space in the middle and people have uh, frequently said, why don't you do something with all this space in here since so many beavers tend to go through it? Uh, part of the reason is I cannot build on top of the water sources unless I have these side platforms, but I was dumb and I didn't make these reinforced platforms, so I, I can't build the side platforms off of them. Uh, I have these four by one archways that I can research and place, but I can't put them on top of here. They have to, again, uh, be on top of other platforms or uh, connected to the uh, reinforced ones. So that is not a viable option as much as I would love it to be one but we can choose to put some of these decorative things here since so many beavers do go through this area and i imagine we'll want to do that at some point in time but right now i don't think that is the largest priority uh, that we should be focusing on so they finally built this breeding pod finally built the breeding pod so i'm gonna put in gasp another breeding pod and we do have access to the advanced breeding pods now since we have the extract, but uh, we don't have a reliable system set up for bringing extract up, which honestly could just be me switching this over to hold extract. But for right now, I think we can live with uh, starting the beavers out as beaver children, kits, whatever you want to call them. But uh, in the future, we will change this to be the uh, advanced ones. And we will probably get these out of here. We'll build some sort of other uh, beaver reproduction center or something like that. Oh, good. They're finally finally getting around to this. Yeah, we just have to make sure this doesn't flood. I don't think it will because they have all of these places for the water to escape on either side. Should not be an issue. And then, of course, we have the option of putting other things here. But this is already just a one block gap. I don't think we really need to be that concerned about it. Because these middle ones we really want to uh, want to check out and see what we're doing with. So it looks like that's just about done. That's going nicely. We'll want to do the same thing over here. 
And then depending on how we're feeling, we could possibly put another one, or at least start another one over here. This is, wow, this is actually entirely clear. How did that happen? Because these all have berries. Huh. Well. Oh, this is completely empty. Why is this complete? Oh, because we sucked all the, it sucked all the water out of it. Duh. That was uh, kind of a dumb mistake for me to make there. But they are nearing completion on this whole thing here, and we'll be able to hopefully, hopefully plant some mangroves and other things here. Uh, just got to grab all of the different pieces and take care of everything. Yeah, now that we're starting to get the rest of these trees out of here, connect everything up very nicely there. Looks good. Uh, these guys no longer need to be here. Get rid of that, save a couple of jobs. And yeah, this still has some bad water in it, so until we have enough uh, good water coming out of these corners to flush that out, this will be unbuildable, but should not take too long to get that nice and clean. All right, this is now done. Let's get our uh, uh, stream gauge attached here. And then this set to, I think, what did I say? 2.84. It's not like it really matters that much. And then this was set to, what, 2.3? I think that's what it was. Let's consult here. Yes. 2.81, 2.34. Eh, close enough. Doesn't really need to matter. So that's looking good. Let's start out by planting the mangroves because those grow food. And that's about as uh, good as we're going to get. They'll take care of that and then we will un unplant the last ones so the trees can naturally grow. Huh. This died of... Of what? Of nasty? It shouldn't. This is all completely protected. Oh, I bet it was... Yeah, I bet it was because of... Uh, how this was set up. So that means these corner pieces right here need to be set as uh, irrigation barriers. Yeah, no real reason for them not to be. They're not connecting anything, so I suppose that's an easy thing for us to fix. Yes, happening over here too. Okay. So I don't know that this will do completely, but it might help. Might help. The bad water shouldn't be able to get through this because this is going to be completely closed gates. But um, it might help. Might not. I don't know. We'll see. What I should do is I should go around to all these foresters and check this box. The uh, replant dead trees. That seems like a good thing to have uh, in your corner when you're working with all of this. Assuming I can remember which way is the correct way to go. Good. All right, so that is uh, the fourth one of these that will be taking care of. They're planting the trees here. That's looking good. And then we can go ahead and get our oak trees planted, but I did want to get the mangroves done first, so I will let him take care of that. It's not like we're hurting for logs. We have plenty right here. Seems to be uh, just fine. That's going to continue this way, and we already know how this works here. Just got plenty of ladders going all the way up. Is this the most beautiful solution? No, it is not. It's not the most elegant solution, but it works. And you know our motto. If it's stupid and it works, well, it's not that stupid. It just works. Oh, no, it just works is Todd Howard trying to justify churning out shovelware re-releases of Skyrim, which was a great game when I played it in 2011. But it's 2024. Give me Elder Scrolls Six. It's been over a decade, Todd. Anyway, we can move on. Still waiting to get these. Um, hold on, did they actually get rid of those? Uh, looks like they did. Huh. Well, we'll come back and check on that later. This, oh, this can be replaced right here. Let's, um, let's do that. Let's get our stuff taken care of. I know we can do that. Be nice and easy. Nope, nope, nope. Not like that. There we go. That's what we want. That's going to look quite nice there. 
making good progress here. Uh, we can do the same thing here as well, just to get these gradually, gradually placed in. If I can, I never remember how I build this stuff. It always, it always just completely breaks my brain when I try to remember it. But if we give them the opportunity to actually uh, build all this at once, then I think that's going to go well. So that goes there. Yep, there we go. That's exactly what it was. Yep, and then they've got to build the terrain blocks here, not there, and here. Ladders go on top. So I think the idea is we just need to kind of Ron Popeil this, you know, set it and forget it. I don't even know if people under the age of 30 even have any knowledge of any of that kind of TV demo of whatever that thing was, some sort of cooking appliance. See, I don't even remember the name of the product. I just remember the slogan and the name of the guy. So, I don't know, maybe it wasn't a great marketing strategy after all if I couldn't remember what he was trying to advertise. But I digress. That is pretty much completely irrelevant for anything that we have going on here. Oh, boy. I've got to get over here, and I've got to get rid of these oak trees. So I think what we're going to have to do is uh, just place a ladder here and uh, mark a couple of these for demolition on either side so we can actually get down here. This is why this stuff takes so long. So there's always something that comes up that makes it kind of, kind of difficult to mess with, but not in a way that's uh, that big of a pain. All right, suspension bridges, three by ones. Yep, there we go. I really do like this, having the bridges like so. That looks pretty snazzy. Not too bad, not too bad. So getting that done here is gonna help us. Uh, getting this done here is gonna help us massively. And I'm just so curious about whether this irrigation barrier will actually do anything. Cause I know we're gonna have bad water touching all of these. But this isn't land. Maybe it should be. Maybe these should be actual terrain tiles. I wonder, could they actually, could they build this fast enough? Even if it's just the last, the last couple here. I know they have access to, uh, to mess with that. Do I want, do I want to rock the boat? Oh, okay. This is so built up over here. I don't know that I could. I don't know that I could have this because I have all these uh, medical beds and everything here, but it is it is passable. If I did have that set up like so, this wouldn't let any bad water through here. This is already here. So the only way this is getting bad water is if this guy's letting it in, unless the bad water touching this tile as well is a problem. I don't know. Probably shouldn't worry about it that much, I guess. Doesn't seem like it's something that's worth uh, investing that much uh, time and effort into. I always go the wrong way around this thing. It's so funny. Like getting lost in the mall. Anyway, this is done. We need to duplicate that over here. But this is still in use. So maybe we want to prioritize it. I don't know. Metal floodgates. Just get those guys in. Uh, platform on top. And that should solve that issue. Let's just uh, prioritize those, get those built. And then we've got to think about what we're doing with the rest of this space over here. Uh, I have the three centrifuges. I debated maybe putting four and then uh, some other thing that would transfer power uh, this way because there's, again, there's a ton of it. I was debating blasting down and putting some of these uh, medium framed flywheels. They do lose four HPH or four HPs per hour, HPH, whatever, I don't know. It's probably just fine referring it to like that. Um, but the big ones only lose one. And if you have a lot of these, it's going to add up, especially if you have the small horizontal or vertical ones, seven each, and they only store 2,000. That was why uh, somebody left a comment. I did address this in a reply, but somebody left a comment asking why I didn't have these all set as the small frame flywheels. And that's exactly why, because... 
if these lose seven apiece, or the unfriend ones lose ten, or not, yeah, ten, um, you would discharge the flywheels almost instantaneously if you had enough of those. So just better to leave them as regular power shafts and uh, concentrate on building the large power uh, power wheels, flywheels, uh, as you get into that point there. So again, we're going to let this go all the way down, not because we need to, but because it's going to bug the you-know-what out of me if I know it's not at maximum depth before I get rid of it. But we also have the opportunity to do the exact same thing over here that we've done and because of the way this is set up, somebody asked if uh, we could build the dirt excavator one tile lower the next time. And yes, we can. Uh, that would allow us to not have the wooden stairs or any stairs or ladders or anything going up. We could move this one tile further down. It really wouldn't make any big difference except for uh, being at the same elevation as the surrounding area. And then uh, we could just say, all right, we'll run this power shaft in here. Instead of coming over the path, it could come underneath and we would just have uh, it be completely open versus having this a damn piece here. So again, all that's completely temporary because as soon as these are done uh, digging, they're going to get replaced with a cluster of uh, water pumps like we have here. Did they finish all of them? They sure did. All right. Well, get rid of those guys and have them go somewhere else. We're going to have plenty of other fun stuff to do over here. Looks like he's finished. So let's unplant these uh, corners here and start planting some oak trees. And we're just waiting on this one pine to get removed, but I'm not going to hold everything up for that. That should be okay. They're in the process of building that, which is nice. That's good news. Get this connected up. And then these guys uh, can start taking these trees out and then we'll expand into this corner as well same stuff here and they're already working on this which is also good news so plenty to get to plenty of stuff to get done and in fact this is already looking quite fantastic if i say so myself just got to get the uh less glamorous part of this excavation actually up and running uh, we're not going to use this dirt fast enough to justify having more than one of these at a time, so I'm not going to not gonna stress out about it. This is dry. Why is this dry? This should not be dry. How long have these been dry? Okay, not that long. This water is going all out here. Is that because of something I did over here? I don't think so. Huh. Yeah, this side is actually lower. Okay, I can't see. Yeah, this is still up. Why is this still up? Okay, so this one... Oh, okay. Um, Alright, that was weird. I guess that was one of the ones that had been left uh, in the old configuration to try and force more water through the other spots. So that's an interesting thing for us to find, but that should... Hopefully, allow water to go back in here, and it sure does. I imagine as we continue building out here, this will end up equalizing a little bit. It's just kind of kind of difficult to figure out when you're flying by the seat of your pants for almost all of this. But that's uh, the way she goes. That's how it always ends up working, so we will just uh, let that be what it will. So that's going to go here and here and here. This will be the dam pieces here. This will be another ladder. Yeah, so this is uh, very quickly becoming a lot of lather, rinse, repeat, uh, formulaic type stuff. Not necessarily bad that that's the way it is, but uh, we have reached that part of the playthrough where a lot of this stuff is just kind of exactly the same thing every time. Because we are electing to build something that is, I guess, some type of symmetry that I am sure I'm going to get the name wrong of and people might uh, call me out on it. But yeah, we've got to get... Uh... Oh, I was going to blast holes here. That's what I was going to do. To try and get this nasty water out of here. Because there's no reason for this to really hold any water back. 
Yeah, oh, and there's no, no water flow through here because I have this dammed off. But this has still has water in it. I don't know why, it's just... Yeah, it's these corners right here, for whatever reason, always tend to accumulate, he says, while going past three that haven't accumulated. I don't know. I don't know. Just a whole lot of stuff we gotta keep thinking about here, I guess. All right, how close is this to going all the way down? I guess the only way we'll know is if it's completely flat and it never changes. Because I don't have the height shower mod. I probably should. But I don't. I'll get it figured out. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Alright, so they're just about done here. Just waiting on someone to come finish this. Uh, before we are done with this episode, though, we will have uh, some other stuff going on over here. So let's go ahead. Just mark uh, these for removal. I think the prototype thing we're going to want to go for here is going to be, uh, I guess, just probably three centrifuges. And then we could uh, maybe put in a couple of grease factories. If we put two in here, then we could have this power shaft go all the way across on the backside. Or, or we could put one grease factory, one tank, and then a power shaft coming along this side might be a better option. Uh, we don't have bots yet, so I'm not going to spend the science and the time and effort to start making grease. But that is uh, just so you're aware uh, what the plan is going to be. We're going to keep this power shaft coming along here. And then uh, a lot of the other industrial stuff is going to start right here. Probably would be smart to have uh, everything we need to move uh, stuff from up here. Keep it in line closer with the wood stuff. Unless we wanted to move the wood processing itself to up here and just have this be all tree growth, all wood processing, and then move the materials down into here. I don't think it needs to be quite that complicated. I don't think we really need to worry about it that much. It probably just makes sense to have everything down here and just have bots handle all of the uh, transportation and logistics. But we don't have the bots yet, so... Probably, probably the first step is going to be actually producing bots. We'll just have to decide which, because I'm not going to make everything completely symmetrical, because that's just insanity. Uh, one, one of these sides will be for bots, one of these sides will be for something else, I'm sure. And we'll see what ends up happening as a result of that. But we're making a lot of power. Actually, not so much right now, interestingly enough. I think it's because of how... Uh, water is coming in and out, or rather is not coming in and out of some sides more so than others. Oh, this is uh, holding water here. That's nice. Why did I only do... Oh, because I started this. Started this side and then did not... Uh, did not continue. See, I can't even remember. can't even remember what I've done for so much of this, but that's... That's all done. That's all done. That's what I was kind of worried about, is getting this set up. And then, of course, they're going to work on this, going to work on this. Yeah, I guess we should probably focus on one corner at a time, because there's so much other stuff going on. All right. So that is, now that this is connected, that is what we are going to do. I guess we'll just have our files and stuff start moving over here. But having all this processing and stuff uh, duplicated on the other side here was one of those things I was going to try to do originally as well and just had not set up prior to the end of the last episode. So we can go ahead and mirror this on this side. That is set to extract. That is, yep, it's all looking good. That'll keep those guys busy making lots of extract. Uh, we still only have, for all of these running, we still only have 760-ish. I guess 700. Oh, yeah, see, it keeps going down. So there is actually a need to have more than more than three of these. Uh, double that should be looking good. Uh, we got beavers that could be running these bad water pumps, but I think I'm going to save them for the centrifuges because these do take two apiece. Yep, and then we'll be good to go. I really hope we don't have to worry about beavers becoming infected, but if we do, we could put them down here. Uh, and that will be no problem at all to deal with. So we have a lot of science. We have 32,000 
if we wanted to start making bots, there's no reason we couldn't. We have all the materials. Uh, we just have to start making the components and have a whole area set up for said components. But I, I think it's more important for us to have storage. So one of the things that I had considered, uh, because this is going out into the water area here, we could pretty easily come out here and put in one of these um, junction box things, these horizontal junctions, and we could actually bury, if we take our uh, guy right here, we could actually put in one of these guys right here and then put a junction box on top and connect power that way. Or, you know, do the same kind of thing up here. But I think I would like to keep stuff looking a little bit, little bit nicer than that. Because these medium ones are one block high. I could just stack these up underneath. And uh, that's probably, in all honesty, the uh, best option for us to store a little bit of power here. Because you know this is going to stop turning in a drought. And you know it's going to be a problem if we run out of power. So, since this side has not been built yet, let's kind of uh, let's kind of prototype this here. Uh, we're going to have to do this whole thing kind of in stages because of how this is set up. But if we triple dynamite this down a couple times, we should be able to stack things underneath quite nicely. And so on and so forth. That should be fine. And I can actually pause these because this one in the middle is the one that actually transmits the power to the other two. So we don't have to worry about it. Let's get this going here. We also could just say, you know what, let's let's just go ahead and uh, dedicate some time and effort to building bad water discharges. But I think we have a better use for that metal for right now. Because it is 200 a piece. That would be 800 metal to get those all uh, taken care of right there. And I don't think we want to spend our time doing that. However, if we can get some power stored here before... Uh, we get to the next drought. I think that would be to our advantage. We can continue moving things around, uh, make some bots, and then maybe have other districts. All of this is stuff that cannot possibly all happen before the end of this episode. But you know what we do? We take our time. We uh, do what we can with what we have. And whatever happens, happens. Whatever doesn't happen gets pushed to the next episode, and hopefully I remember. <laughs> that tends to be how this works. Planting is continuing nicely, looking good. Uh, this continues. This will be actually safe here. Uh, we can't really do much of anything over here quite yet, but... Uh, oh, that's why I wanted to have this to be a uh, ladder here. So I can get rid of that. There we go, because I knew this needed to be... Ah, uh, ah. Huh. That's right, I forgot. This has to be here. Because this has to be here. Remembering is very important, kids. Don't forget. Don't forget to remember. That's a brain bender for you. I really ought to stop calling you guys kids, because I'm pretty sure about half of you watch these videos are older than I am. But ends up being amusing anyway, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, getting this prepared to be set up probably next episode is another one of these is going to be nice. Uh, now that we know this is about to hold water, we can also come over here and uh, start sending some water in. That'll be fine. Give these guys all sorts of stuff to work on. Alright, so we have our explosives here. That's already down three. I think if I go down six, that might be a little too much. Might be just a little too much. But, but it is kind of funny. Kind of funny to imagine. And yes, I have to do it this way because we have the uh, we have the power shafts behind. Ended up not being a very, uh, very smart thing. I, I could have just moved this back one more and then just gone into the center of the thing. But eh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll We'll survive. We'll survive just fine without it. Yeah, get those put in there, and then we'll have to do this column, then we'll do this column. And hopefully it's actually six deep. I don't know that it will be. But we'll count. We'll get it figured out. In the meantime, we can continue coming down here, getting all the rest of this done appropriately. That's looking good. We're making progress over here at the very least. 
Uh, this is, oh, I was going to have this finished out here. See, this is, this is the stuff that just kind of, it takes some time to get done. And it's going to be a little, uh, a little frustrating at times. Well, not for me, but for you guys to watch the uh, insanity unfold in real time. Well, this isn't really, isn't really insane if you think about it. I just do things in an order that may frustrate uh, normal people. Okay, that's there, that's there. That's going to go nicely. Triple platform here, triple platform here. Bridges. And there we go. That's looking nice. That'll get us somewhere. Those there, those there. Little bits and pieces. Little bits and pieces. Wow, that's actually a lot more of this than I thought I would be able to get with uh, with paths right now, at least. I guess I need to have this set up again this way. I might as well just might as well just go ahead and do all this at once. No point in delaying any of that. All right. Then I can be nicely surprised when it's actually done. And then I had forgotten that I'd actually done this. All right, cool. That'll work there. That'll work there. That works there. We just have to remember to connect the uh, corner piece once that's all done. And that's going to be quite nice to have that done. That corner's done. This corner's done. And then that just leaves this one, which we haven't really uh, built too much into yet. But it takes time to get into everything, and that is uh, the idea behind what we're doing. So I'm just going to indiscriminately mark this entire thing for removal because that's going to take too long to just cut them down naturally. And we'll get all of this sorted. We have plenty of wood. We're farming plenty of wood. We don't really need to lose any sleep remembering what goes where, what doesn't go where. We'll just get it done and move on. Make sure everything is connected nicely, which it is. Yeah, that's going to solve a lot of our problems without worrying about uh, keeping track of all that other stuff. So... Day 12, we should be seeing uh, some sort of a thing soon about what the next cycle is going to be. Alright, so did I get six? I think it might be five. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, it is six. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have kind of bonkers uh, power loss underneath this, but I think we're going to be okay because this generates so much power. I don't think it's going to matter. So each of these, yeah, Let's store 15,000. So six of those will be math, 90,000. And per hour, we will lose 24. I think we're going to be okay. Obviously, you don't want to have your entire power storage for your entire map be built like this, and especially not with the, uh, the, the small ones that lose uh, a lot more than that and contain so much less. But this will be a nice, elegant solution to try and... Uh, Take advantage of how all this stuff is uh, going to want to be set up. Cool. And we'll do the same thing over here eventually. Uh, I kind of want to connect power between these two spots here, but I don't uh, I don't know that there's going to be a nice, easy way to do that. We might just have to, uh, might just have to leave it alone and uh, figure something else out later. So that will go there, that will go there. We can set both of those off. And then we can build our flywheels. Uh, these are going to take 40 metal apiece. Six of those is 240, which we have. Yeah, yeah we're going to be going to be looking pretty good there. So we'll come back and check on that in a little bit. I will prioritize these so they can build those. Because I believe the next things that they're building should be... Oh, yeah, good. They actually have made some nice progress here. And we want to have these set up as best we can as well. Yeah, they got a long way to go to take care of all the rest of this stuff. Uh, this needs to be... There we go. 
That needs to be taken out of there. That needs to be taken out of there. All right, a drought. Okay, we can deal with the drought. But I kind of wish that it was... How do I always go the wrong way? I went the wrong way after I went the right way. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to see if I could store some power here, but if we're going to have a drought in three days, then I guess that's not not what's going to happen here. Get that done. Um, I'm not going to be able to build one of these in time to really take advantage of this, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. We'll get it taken care of, because that's what we do. I don't think I can build six of these in that amount of time anyway, so we'll just uh, have to keep doing our individual projects and see what else we can get ourselves into. But we will uh, we will try to get this accomplished and then see what happens. But this does give us a good opportunity to kind of circle the wagons, so to speak, and uh, figure out what we're doing with regard to bot production. So if you have any thoughts about that, uh, do drop those in the comments. I do always read them, uh, even if I cannot respond. I do make notes, like I always say, uh, what you guys have to say. And uh, I, I do consider those because this is a let's play, not a watch me play the game. So uh, your input is valued. Even if I don't use it in a video, do know that I read it and I do give it consideration as something that could possibly be helpful for us. So let's go ahead. Last uh, couple things we do in today's video. Let's put in these six right here. And then that will store us a nice amount of power. And then on top, I will just pop, pop this centrifuge back into place. They'll take care of that. I highly doubt they're going to get that finished in uh, today's episode because they have all this other stuff I've told them to build that they are probably getting to instead. Uh, but this is storing water. That's nice. This is does not have quite enough water in it, I don't think. And that's because, yeah, there's a couple of these that I didn't have, uh, for some reason I didn't have set the same way. I think that had something to do with it just getting rid of too much water at once, but I think now we're past, past that. So that should, if it's actually refilled anything here, should help us uh, keep this a little bit more full. See, that's blocked off there. That's blocked off there. Uh, this will need to be blocked off, but it's not quite blocked off yet. Just got to get there. Got lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff to keep uh, track of here. Try to get things as organized as we can. But it all takes time. That is our motto. Do what you can with what you have. And don't worry about the rest. So, how close are we? Did we actually even start building these? Probably not. Probably not, but that's fine. We did get these uh, two high floodgates in, and that should help kind of temper our uh, output. I know that's reduced our, uh, our actual gains here, power supply-wise. But that's also because this water is going out this way. We can easily block that and have all the water forced through here. We just have to be able to get across everywhere. In fact, I will go ahead and just uh, build paths across this entire thing so we don't forget and nothing grows here. Well, there's nothing planned out on this side anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but uh, very easily could become a problem if we let stuff grow where it shouldn't be growing or where we don't want it to grow, rather. And then when we go around to fix everything later, then that becomes that much easier to keep track of. That's perfectly in the corner. There we go. Alrighty. So apologies that this episode wasn't as, I guess, action-packed as the last one with uh, figuring out how stuff is laid out. But uh, I can promise you that it is just as important to be able to accomplish all of this stuff uh, with a reasonable degree of planning. And we have made very good progress. Oh, this is this is quite full. Why is that flooding so much? Is it really uh it really shouldn't be uh oh. Oh okay, so this doesn't actually need to be a levy. This needs to be Yeah, this needs to be a floodgate. 
Or it probably actually just needs to be a damn piece. Yep, 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 yep. We'll do that. Uh, this obviously does not need to be blooded. So I will open this. And I guess that's what we just need to focus on putting in here is uh, damn pieces. All right, that works. Come on, there we go. Just need to make sure, because if we're not going to be generating power here, then we just want to have water actually flow out at a reasonable rate of speed, which a dam would allow us to do. Uh, all of this is going to get moved down. Our ruins are not going to be uh, workable over here. So we're going to have to build those. We'll have to build dams around those, and that's going to be fun because of how this is set up. Uh, we will have to build, I guess you would call it a coffer dam around these things. Uh, pump all the water out and then uh, figure out a bridge or something to get over there. Because there's no... Well, I mean, we have it on the corners here as well. But we've got lots of options, lots of fun stuff to keep up with. And I think this is about as good a time as any to end this episode. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, right about here. We did get a lot accomplished, though. Even if it doesn't seem like we did, we now have uh, access to the second tier from the top tier in all four sides. And we are working on getting everything connected in the corners as well. We've made some really quite nice progress in that regard. So how about the last thing we do? Last thing we do is hook uh, this whole mess up here. Just duplicate it so we don't have to worry about it again. And get the rest of this all locked and loaded like we always want to do. So that goes there, that goes there. Get our platforms here so on and so forth. So yep, that is going to be all for this one. Uh, just as I always want to remind you, I do read the comments uh, and I enjoy interacting with you there. So please feel free to leave your comments, questions, concerns, uh, roasts about how I don't understand how things work. It's all welcome. I appreciate all of it. And I do welcome criticism as long as you're not being, you know, nasty about something that doesn't really solve any problems. But most of the time you guys are good about that and uh, offer helpful comments. Help me uh, learn something that I did not know or did not fully understand. And that is always, always, always appreciated. But this this corner now can be on its way to being built uh, properly. And the rest of these are, yeah, looking really, really nice. Um, I guess once this is done, it still has a little bit more digging to do. But once this is done, we can get rid of this. Uh, dirt excavator and we can start putting all of these water pumps uh, arranged around here. It's not going to be perfect perfect but it will be a whole lot better uh, than pumping it out of this middle section so we can keep our water here for our swimming pools and all that other fun stuff. But we've gotten quite a bit done, talked about quite a bit more what we can also do and I think we can be pretty proud of what we've gotten accomplished today. So thanks for being here. Appreciate you Beard Boosters as well as always all the fantastic support again thanks very much for 10,000 subscribers i can't believe it 10,000 people want to uh want to watch me play the silly games here well it's more than 10,000 because a lot of the videos get more views than that but 10,000 of you chose to be annoyed by my uh, video notifications so thank you very much for that as always uh hope we see you again soon in another video we've got plenty more coming got another episode of the folktales series tomorrow and then possibly the series finale of the water beavers on saturday that'll be episode 35 of that one uh we'll see what else we can get accomplished before the end of that one and then move on to update five and then finally other games as well i know uh we love the beavers here but uh if i only play timberborn for the rest of time this channel will be dead inside of a year probably so i would like to avoid that plus i like these other games too and there's plenty of other fun stuff great games people have been sending me developers uh, have been in contact as well wanting me to take a look at stuff, and I would love to be a part of that. I would love for you to be a part of it too, but that is all the time I got for this one. Stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.